Hey everyone, welcome back to Higher Learning Test Prep's online video tutorial series. Today we're going to take a look at the difference between the old SAT and the new SAT for the vocabulary section. So let's take a look here. On the left we have the old SAT, the old crotchety SAT, which will continue to be administered through the winter of 2015. In the spring of 2016 we're going to move over here to the right hand side for the new SAT, the new shiny fancy SAT. So what's the difference here? Well, believe it or not, these are both vocabulary sections. On the left-hand side, we have the traditional style where we have blanks that we fill in with vocabulary words. We have two blanks on questions three and four, one on five. So you'll have both of these on the old SAT. Let's look at number five. It says the range of colors that homeowners could use on the exterior of their homes was blank by the community's stringent rules regarding the upkeep of property. So what we teach students to do, our fancy method is to find the clue in the sentence. To me this is the clue, stringent rules. We could really break this sentence down to say the range of colors was blank by the stringent rules. Was blank, well in the blank I'd put maybe something like limited. Limited by the rules. Okay, so now we're gonna find words that do not mean limited and cross them off because sometimes a difficult word that we don't know is right. So we can't just look for the best one, we have to look to get rid of um, ones that are incorrect. Okay, circumscribed is a crazy word that most of us probably don't know. Circumference, scribe, uh, still we don't know exactly what's going on there. We'll leave it. Bolstered, you may or may not know, means to support something. Uh, embellished means to exaggerate something. Insinuate means to suggest. And cultivate means to grow. So none of those words meant limited. That means circumscribed must be right. So that's the way we do the old SAT. That's our fancy trick here. On the new SAT, what they've done is they've said, instead of giving you difficult words like circumscribed, um, we're going to just give you a word that you all know, or most of you know, dedicate. And we're going to say, let's look at the different ways that dedicate can be used. And can you tell the difference between what these two different versions of dedicate mean? So, for instance, this first paragraph might sound familiar, four score and seven years ago. Our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated the proposition that all men are created equal. So what does dedicated mean here? Something like committed. Committed. I'm hoping it's spelled with two T's or else you may lose faith in me. Don't lose faith. I am not a spelling coach. I am an SAT tutor. I'm pretty good at being an SAT tutor, and I'm not that good at spelling, thanks to spell check. Um, okay, so let's look at this other version of dedicate I've underlined. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a finding resting, final resting place for those who gave their lives that the nation might live. Okay, so what does this dedicate mean? It means something different. It means to memorialize. I mean, you could say that it's you could commit that portion of the field for sure. But there's a different sort of thing going on here where we're talking about memorializing this piece of field as opposed to committed to some idea. So we don't know exactly what these questions are going to look like yet. The SAT hasn't released questions yet. But this is the sort of thing that we expect is that we're going to use easier words, but we're going to be asked the context around them. So difficult in a, in a new way because we're no longer talking about definitions that you can memorize but instead we're talking about how does this word get used in different ways and what can we learn from the context. So I think this is a little bit uh, deeper thinking over here on the right hand side which is probably what they wanted. Okay so that's the difference between the new and the old SAT for vocabulary. Now we have a little special offer for the first person who emails us the name of the dude who said this speech will give you one free hour of tutoring. Now that is super easy. So either email us or get in touch on Facebook. If you can figure out who it is, we'll give you some free tutoring. All right, take care.